What's up everyone, Michael from 2FAS here and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to set up two-factor authentication for Outlook. Click on your profile top right corner and choose my Microsoft account. Here you can encounter this error but just click on your profile one more time. Now choose security on the left and choose two-step verification. Here you will need to identify your email, so click on your email and you will get a message from Microsoft with a security code that you need to retype. So it is going to be 057902. Once you do that, click verify and now choose two-step verification. Click next and set up a different authenticator app. Now you need to scan this code with your authenticator app. I'm going to use 2FAS for this example, which is available for both Android and iOS devices. Click the red plus button and point your camera to the QR code. Once you scan it, you will see the six digit verification code. Back to Outlook, you need to retype it right here. So it is going to be 602623 and click next. Congratulations, you have successfully set up two-factor authentication, but before we move on, I just want you to save this recovery code. It will be very helpful if you will ever have any trouble logging into your account. Make sure to save it somewhere offline, so write it down and put it in a safe place. Once you do that, just click next, next and finish. Now with two-factor authentication enabled, no one without this six-digit code will be able to access your account, but this may include you if you ever lose your phone, so how can you protect yourself? Don't worry, 2FAS has you covered. Just click on Settings, 2FAS Backup, and make sure Google Drive or iCloud synchronization is turned on. As you can see on iOS, it looks pretty much the same. Now with this setting enabled, the recovery process is as simple as installing 2FAS mobile app on the new device and enabling synchronization with the same Google or iCloud account. Thanks for watching till the end. If you have any questions, make sure to join our Discord server, link in the description, you can ask them there or in the comment section under this video. Subscribe and see you in the next tutorials.